Hey everybody, it's Ken. We're fixing to try to start this Super B. So I got in it, it just clicked. And I thought it was a starter because I checked the battery and it seemed to have plenty of voltage. And then later on it came out, like a week or two later, the battery was dead after charging it. So apparently the thing's junk. So I found, I got another battery and we're gonna get that thing on there, okay? We'll see what happens. Okay, here's the uh, the battery I put on it, AutoCraft. So this is my uh, 69 Super B. We're gonna see if this thing will start. We're all set up to start the Super B. Hopefully it'll start. If not, we'll be back to the drawing board again. I've had this car for 14 years, maybe. It's been a lot of work, but it came a long way. And we're just about done with it. it needs a few things but hopefully it won't need a starter. That's the sound I was looking for. It was a battery after all. So we're gonna go ahead and get the tarp off this thing. And, uh, so I needed some gas. I was really thinking it was the, the starter at first, but that battery's been on here for a long time. Right now it's got 61 miles on it. So in 14 years, I've driven this car less than 100 miles. Not because I didn't want to drive it, because it always needed something. It just can't be finished. Let's see if we can get it started. Oh, it looks like this thing is choked all the way, so it should start pretty easy. Get some gas in there. It's got a six pack, so it's got three carburetors. As usual, it starts right away. Uh, that's what happens when you spend a lot of money to actually start. So, let's do this again. You kind of want to put your breather on. I should have had it on earlier. You know, because these things do flame up. You don't want to catch your car on fire. So it's better to just go ahead, take the time, and put your breather back on. You know, unless it's something you don't, you're not that worried about. But something like this, you just don't want it flaming up. I don't anyway. I think there's enough gas to kick her off. We got enough battery to spin it. So let's reel it rip. Super B. 
think we'll see the speedometer here. It sits, let me hold it steady. Six, 61 miles. Pathetic. It's got what's called a tick tock dash. It's got a clock and a tack. Four shifter, automatic. Night. So I think I should. I don't know. We'll put some gas in it. Set this thing down. We'll, we'll let it warm up. But there's very little gas in it. It might run out. So I think I want to put some in there. Gas. Yes. That smoke. Not really rich. I usually just keep this tank just like almost empty and just to add a gallon or two or three or whatever to it and just let it run every time I start it. Let it warm up really good and warm. Back it in and out of the garage. That's about it. So I get that transmission fixed. That ought to be enough gas. Fire it back up again. I won't even get in. I guess since I haven't been able to drive it for 14 years, it actually probably saved it. Who knows? I might have to wrap this thing around for you. Put it done. I had a '69 Roadrunner. I'll show you that in a little bit. And I sold that car thinking I was going to kill myself in that stupid thing. And it had a Dana 6411 in it, and it beat everybody in town with a 383. Pretty wicked. Heater's uh, blowing nice and warm. I gotta get this thing fixed, man. If I can start enjoying it, hell, I can drive it one time, it's got good heat. So, yeah. Gotta love it. I gotta get a radio on it, too, that's another thing. I think it's warmed up enough now. It's not putting out all that stupid smoke. Oh yeah. There she is. Get up there where you can hear it. 440. Show you that Roadrunner. If I would just got this Roadrunner back, I was trying to buy it from a farmer that, that bought it from a, the kid I traded it to. And uh, you might have seen this picture on Facebook. But uh, that's the Roadrunner out in the farmer's field. And it's, you know, when I bought it, bought it from my friend, it had been painted pretty much, it was a really nice condition. All original matching numbers. And now it's in really bad condition again, but I wanted that car so bad. And I ended up buying a charger, sold the charger, bought a 69 Sports Satellite, sold that one. And then I got this one. I'm pretty happy. And 
That's not the only one. So we're gonna get into that one though. When we when we do the rear end swap, the the transmission, all that, I'll get you guys involved in that. There's these super bees. You know, I mean, when you're under them, it's, a, it's kind of tight under there. Everything is engineered really well on these cars. Super nice car. So I'm gonna shut this thing off. Hi guys. Hope you enjoyed the car, and we'll get we'll look at it again. So don't worry. We'll be seeing this thing more. Bye.